it's day four. Last night was a different night. It was cold and windy and about one o'clock it started to rain. It rained for at least a couple of hours and it, it blew most of the night. But you see the sun is poking through this morning. I slept. So, my goal for the day, get out there to that next water source, which I think is about three miles away. So while I'm waiting for the water to boil, some unfinished business last night. It boiled up that lomatium and I let it sit overnight. Um, Let's see what it looks like. More importantly, what it tastes like. That's it. First of all, it just tastes like water. That is surprising. It's quite tender. Very starchy, not not any strong flavor taste to it, but very very edible. Very plain. Needs a few onions or something in with it. Maybe some salt, some shad scale. Huh? It's amazingly mm, okay. Okay, it's time for breakfast. I have some oatmeal soup. Doesn't sound too good, but I'm looking forward to it. A little watery, but I'm not complaining. I don't know if this shows, but this is my water canteen holder. It's just a kind of a canvas material. Anyway, I get really tired of drinking hot water. One of the tricks I learned way back when as a wildland firefighter is if you'll sacrifice a little bit of your water, soak that bag, and then it becomes kind of an evaporative cooler and it'll cool down your water a little faster than, than normal. It still won't be ice cold, but it's colder than, cooler than hot. Well, here it is. Basic design is the same. Um, this one's a little, quite a bit lower to the ground than the one last night was. So, all the gusters I've found so far are doing well. Full of water and uh, serving their purpose. So I'm sitting at the guzzler looking out onto the lake flats. You can 
see the flats and you can see the water's edge. Okay, I've left the guzzler. I made it about another half mile um, and I'm looking for a good campsite. You can see from the landscape I've got my pick of places. There's no one else out here to compete with so I can camp wherever I want to. So I can see a spot down here a little bit further that's a, a little tiny outcropping of rock. That looks like the spot I'm going to, uh, to, to choose. I just realized it's early afternoon and I forgot to eat lunch. So, let's see how melted these are again today. Not bad. And maybe I spoke too soon. that off later. There was a wild edible that tasted like that. You can make a million marketing it. I've decided to set up my tarp. Uh, not because of rain, but because of the sun. That sun is going to be my enemy this afternoon for quite a few more hours. And there is no shade out here anywhere. So I gotta make me some shade. Okay, there's the finished product. I've got shade and I've got airflow all the way through. And it would even serve tonight if I got a little sprinkle. I may just leave it up. Looks like some kind of manta ray or stingray from this angle. There's my view. Talking solitude, I'd say this is about as close to solitary as you can get. Although, I'm not really alone. Um, I've seen uh, three rabbits today, three jackrabbits, one blue belly lizard, one horned lizard, and surprisingly, I saw an antelope right here when I walked into this, this little basin. That's the first big game species I've seen the whole time. So I'm not lost, I'm not alone, but I do have complete solitude. And that's what I think is one of the key ingredients for a meaningful walkabout.
gave the rice and the lentils about oh, 30, 30, 35 minutes to cook. And then added the salt and shad scale. Just letting it kind of simmer on the coals now for a few more minutes. And they'll take it into the, to the, under the tarp and have dinner. Alright, time for the unveiling. I think it looks good. Alright. I know this is good. Yeah, I'm curious to try these quickly pair cactus heads. Still see some thorns on there. Not prickly. I think boiling softened them up. Hmm. Not much taste. Very slimy. Hmm. The texture I don't like. Tastes bad. Good. I give it about a, a B grade. Pretty good. So for the last hour or so, I've just been laying here under my tarp, looking out at this landscape in front of me, writing down some of the thoughts I've had for these last five days, four days. You know, this is a wander and ponder. Well, what did I ponder? What did I think about? I'm not going to read the list to you, but I made myself quite a list. Things I've thought of. Some things I should do. Some things are just thoughts. Anyway, I think that's another important part of a walkabout that I didn't include in my original recipe. Not just wander around and ponder on things, but write them down so you can remember them. Because you probably are not going to, at least I am not going to be able to do many of these walkabouts in the future. The older I get, the fewer I can do, at least not uh, as demanding as this one was. But, uh, so I'll still have those thoughts recorded to look back on and, and might get some good out of them. So they're just a bit of advice if you decide to do a walkabout. Well, it won't be long before the sun sets on this, my last night of the walkabout. Thought it would be a good time just to show a picture of the beauty that's out here. The sun is low, the colors are vibrant, absolutely quiet.